Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. We are happy to present this video to facilitate your preparation for Medicare main course as well as Medicare refresher course. The sideways movement of the trunk at the waist is called as lateral flexion, abduction, gliding movement or angular movement. The answer is A. It's lateral flexion. When contraction occurs, blood passes through capillaries, arteries, veins, or aortic valve. The answer is aortic valve. That is answer is D. What is the primary purpose of splint applied in first aid? Is it to control bleeding? reduce pain, immobilize a fracture, or rest the bone? Answer is C. It's primarily to immobilize the fracture. Phalanges making up fingers are composed of 12 bones, 13 bones, 14 bones, or 15 bones. Phalanges making up the fingers they are composed of 14 bones. The answer is C. In the relationship of parts of body to each other, superior means in the back of, towards the feet, in front of, or towards the head end or above. In the relationship between the parts, the superior part means the one which is more towards the head that is answer is d towards the head end or above how many layers of tunics does an artery have does it have four layers three layers two layers or a single layer the answer is b three layers you can see in this diagram the three tunic layers are named as from in inside to out are intima media and external the immune system fights against destroying the healthy cells internal changes in cells introducing infected cells or infective organisms now immune system fights the infective organisms the organisms that, that cause infection so answer is d which of the following is a digestive system disease? Cholera, diphtheria, smallpox, or typhoid? The answer is A. Cholera is a digestive system disease. A person who is unconscious, not breathing, has a weak pulse, needs what sort of care? Does he need CPR? Hamlet maneuver? Rescue breathing or back blows and chest thrusts. Such person who is unconscious, not breathing and has weak pulse requires rescue breathing and answer is C. The lumbar vertebrae comprises of two bones below the thoracic vertebrae, three bones below the thoracic vertebrae, four bones below the thoracic vertebrae or five bones below the thoracic vertebrae the answer is d lumbar vertebrae comprise of five bones below the thoracic vertebrae the longest strongest and the largest bone in human body is the leg bone the thigh bone the arm bone or the hand bone the answer is b that is the thigh bone, which is the longest and the strongest bone of the human body. The treatment of sunstroke principally consists of cooling, removing to shaded area and lying down, bathing with rubbing alcohol, drinking ice water or none of the above. The principal treatment is cooling, removing to shaded area, and making the patient comfortable in the shade and so the answer is a 
which one is the first step in chest compression for infant place the middle and the index finger on the breastbone place the middle finger and small fingers on the breastbone place the heel of hand on sternum and the heel of other hand on top of it place the heel of hand on ribs and the heel of the other hand near to the first one the answer for chest compression for infants is a place the middle and the index fingers on the breastbone breathing emergencies may be caused from asthma or allergic reaction hyperventilation injury to a muscle or bone in chest all of the above now all of these could lead to breathing discomfort and breathing emergency so answer is all of the above when helping an unconscious choking victim the number of chest thrust to an adult back blows to an infant and chest thrust to an infant are that means what is the number of chest thrust to an adult back blows to an infant and chest thrust to an infant are these 3 3 3 5 3 3 5 5 5 or 3 5 5 the answer is c it's 5 5 5 that means five chest thrusts to an adult five back blows to an infant and five chest thrusts to an infant so the number is five 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 airway obstruction is defined as failure of air to enter the lungs failure to breathe blocking of the passage of air to the lung or breath holding obviously the answer is c it's blocking of the passage of the air to the lungs that is referred to as airway obstruction the spinal cord going down is divided into how many divisions two three four or five the answer is d divided into five divisions and what are these five divisions these five divisions are cervical thoracic lumbar sacrum and coccyx a victim has lost a lot of blood through a deep cut in his leg he is breathing fast and seems pale and restless he is probably having a stroke having a heart attack is in shock or is choking now if the victim who's lost a lot of blood and is showing these symptoms these are the clearly symptoms of shock so answer is c this victim could be in state of shock because of excessive loss of blood how will you give rescue breath to a casualty mouth to mouth and nose mouth to nose mouth to mouth respiration or none of the above answer is mouth to mouth respiration is what will you give as part of your rescue breathing when performing cpr on a child you give four slow breaths and 20 chest compressions one slow breath and five chest compressions two slow breaths and 10 chest compressions two slow breaths and 15 chest compression uh, in case of cpr on a child its answer is b it shall be one slow breath and five chest compressions you may suspect that a crew member has been poisoned if they are experiencing nausea vomiting or diarrhea have chest or abdominal pain breathing difficulty burns around the lips tongue or on the skin all of the above in this case the answer is d all the above symptoms are the symptoms of poisoning when caring for a shipmate who is allergic to bees and has just been stung you should give them an epipen injection apply a heat pack to ease the pain apply a cold pack or both A and C.
the answer is c apply a cold pack you have tried to control a victim's bleeding with direct pressure and elevation but the bleeding doesn't stop where would you apply pressure to slow the flow of blood to a wound on the forearm so if there is injury on the forearm and you need to control the bleeding then pressure applied shall be outside the arm midway between the shoulder and the elbow on the inside of the elbow inside the arm between shoulder and the elbow any of the above will slow the flow of blood the answer is c inside the arm between the shoulder and the elbow as you can see in this diagram here this is where the pressure shall be applied a crew member has just splashed a chemical on his face you would cover the burned area have the victim stay calm until help arrives flush the burnt area with large amounts of water immediately ask for medical evacuation immediate action shall be c flush the burnt area with large amounts of water in order to assess for a pulse in an adult crew you would assess it for how long carotid pulse for at least 5 seconds but no more than 10 seconds carotid pulse for 10 to 12 seconds femoral pulse for at least 5 seconds but no more than 10 seconds none of the above so in case of an adult crew it shall be carotid pulse which shall be observed for not less than 5 seconds and it could be anything up to 10 seconds thereafter which should be part of your care for a severely bleeding open wound allow the wound to bleed in order to minimize infection apply direct pressure and elevate the injured area if no broken bones use a tourniquet to stop all blood flow both a and c the answer is b apply direct pressure and elevate the injured area to control bleeding obviously it is subject to that there are no fractures signals of allergic reaction to a bee sting are feeling of tightness in the chest and throat swelling of the face neck and face neck and tongue rash dizziness or confusion all of the above the answer in this case is b all of the above are the symptoms of allergic reaction due to bee biting a victim has large piece of glass sticking out of his leg you should leave the glass in the leg and control the bleeding call for further assistance remove the glass and then control bleeding both a and b answer is both a and b leave the glass in place try to control bleeding and obviously seek assistance which out of the below is not a symptom of heart attack chest pain red hot or dry skin pale or bluish in color profuse sweating obviously answer is b red hot or dry skin is not a symptom of heart attack so we have to identify what is not a symptom of an heart attack what would you do if a victim had a body part torn or cut off wrap severe body part in sterile gauze place in a plastic bag put the plastic bag on ice and take it to the hospital with the victim all of the above answer is b all of the above would be the required action in case you have a case where the victim body part is torn or cut off with this we come to end of set 1 for medicare course and medicare refresher course exit exam uh, wishing you all the best for your exams and we please look out for our other sets also we shall keep adding as we keep getting more and more questions thank you very much for watching marine gurukul video series please do subscribe to our channel for all the future notifications if you have any feedback please do write to us on marine gurukul@gmail.com
Thank you very much.